Now to one of our most talked about stories in this morning's digital dive. Despite the fact that Wisconsin's governor asked him to stay away, President Trump visited Kenosha, Wisconsin yesterday anyway in the wake of protests and violence following the shooting of Jacob Blake. Now, while he was there, the president toured areas in the city hit hardest by protests and rioting. He also met with law enforcement and praised the National Guard for keeping the peace. Now, Trump blamed, quote, domestic terror for the latest eruption of violence and announced millions in aid for Kenosha law enforcement and small businesses to rebuild. The president asserted he's about law and order and only addressed Blake's shooting when he was asked by reporters. After his visit, Trump tweeted a video saying, Kenosha, we're with you all the way. But protesters marched after the president's visit. A local reporter there tweeted this video of dueling chants of Black Lives Matter and four more years. Congressman Brian Steele posted this photo on Twitter thanking the president for his visits and commitment to public safety. However, some were frustrated that the president didn't acknowledge violence against black people as a reason for increased tensions. Like this person who said he refused to recognize protests are not all about violence. Now, presidential nominee Joe Biden has accused President Trump of inciting hate and inciting violence. He's actually planning campaign stops both here in Minnesota and Wisconsin this month, Gia. Yeah, as we head into election full swing now, um, Alicia, thanks for sharing that. Tracy